fly is a connection between a world that is not your own and you. It's ironic that it's also a, a, a falsehood. When you're casting that fly out there, you're, you're tricking the fish. And that's the only way you're really going to get that connection. It's a bit dishonest, <laughs> but it's as honestly dishonest as you can be. Whenever your time flies, you're, you're thinking about what you're going to do on the river. And you're incorporating materials and design into that fly for what you saw the last time you were there. It exacerbates the obsession. You're creating something that's, I, I don't want to say it's high art, it's, it's very, it's representational, but it's, it's got your own flares and touches on it. It, it. Perhaps maybe you start out, or tying from a book and following a, a, an exact pattern and doing everything just like it says. But eventually you're gonna break into your own rhythm and everything that comes off of your advice is, is your creation. Um, you're gonna put some heart and soul into that. You're gonna put a great deal of thought into that. And then you're gonna throw it in a tree and lose it. And, or you're gonna catch a fish on it and destroy it. Or you're gonna, you know, it's gonna fall out of your box when you open the box up to get it and tumble and go down the river. What you have tied is ephemeral and what you are trying to represent is ephemeral. The bugs that live in the water, the bugs that hatch off and flap in the tree, they're, the scientific name for some of them, the Latin name is literally ephemerella. They are here for a moment and they're gone. And your flies with all that time and energy and creation are here for a moment and they're gone, they're throwaway. They're expendable. And was it all for nothing? Well, no, because hopefully that time spent tying that fly led to more skill. And hopefully that time spent tying that fly was looking forward to this day on the water. But you have to become comfortable with things not lasting. You have to become comfortable with the idea that things are gonna change. Um, you have to become comfortable with the fact that the river's not going to be the same when you show up. And comfortable with the fact that each time you show up, you're not going to be the same either. We're only here for a little while, we might as well do something fun. And that's why rivers exist, that's why mountains exist, that's why streams exist and woods. It's, and it'll be, and it'll still be here when we're gone. But while we're here, perhaps the reason we exist is to enjoy those things. And so for me, fishing is about sharing it with someone. My name is Heath Carty. I'm a fishing guide in Pisgah Forest, North Carolina. I run Pisgah Outdoors.